What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. We're going to take a quick look at the Mares Puck Air with Compass Dive Computer, which is an air integrated model. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set it up. And we just recently showed you the Mares Puck Pro, and you'll notice it's essentially the exact same computer. It's just in a console, it's not on a wrist strap system, and this computer happens to be air integrated. So it's going to have a couple little different features there. However, it is still just a one button operation, so it's very easy to use. Uh, that one button is going to press and release to scroll through things. You're going to press and hold to select, press and hold to confirm, and then of course press and hold to actually back back out of the system as well. Now there's not going to be a back feature so to speak, so if you go too far as you're scrolling, you're going to have to scroll all the way back through to the next scene or the next screen to get to where you want to go. So with that being said, let's take a quick look at how easy it is to set it up. Now as always, you do want to make sure you replace the battery as soon as you get the computer because once again, you never know how long that computer has been at the shop or how long it set at the warehouse before the dive shop actually ordered it. So it's always a safe bet to actually replace the battery and then in the event that the battery is still good, maybe it's brand new, you will always have a spare battery for it as well. So to actually turn this computer on, it's very simple. You just press on the button. Now it's going to go through a countdown screen or a um, beginning screen there. We can actually set it up to where it doesn't do that. Um, so if you don't want to see that screen scroll through there at the beginning, I'll show you how to set it up to where you can actually take that away. So as soon as you hit the button, it'll come straight in this screen as well. Now you're going to have several different things here on the home screen. It's going to of course show that we're in air mode. We're set up for salt water. Um, it's going to show the tank pressure to zero. Of course, this one's not hooked to a cylinder as well. And then it's going to show what the units of measurement is. Currently, it's set up for metric. I'll show you how to change that over to Imperial. So as with a one button computer, it's very simple. You just press and release and you'll scroll through the screens. If I press it once, we're going to go into set mode. And then if I press and hold, it'll actually go into whatever mode I want it to be. So if I want air, maybe I want to uh, change the P factor as well. Uh, I can change altitude, and then of course I can skate back out. Now, if we look at each one individually, if I go to air and press and hold, I can actually change over to either bottom timer mode or enriched air nitrox, or I can go s simply back to air and um, press and hold and then simply lock it into whatever I want. The P factor, of course, that's where I can make the computer either more liberal or more conservative based off how I want to dive. So it's very simple. You just press and hold and you can actually change that as well. And of course, I can change the altitude settings and maybe if I'm going to the mountains to dive or whatnot, I can change it up to an altitude as well. Uh, real simple to do. You just press and hold and then you can lock it in. So it's real simple there, and of course this does have an escape button. Since it's one button, there's no back out button. There will always be an escape screen. You go to escape, simply press and hold, and it'll go back into the uh, menu area. If I go over to set data, I can very easily do that as well. This one's currently set up for salt water. We're going to change that to fresh water just because we do a lot of fresh water diving here. Uh, but I just press and hold to enter that and then um, it'll start flashing and then of course I can lock it in once I got it on fresh. It's very simple to do. Here it's currently set up for uh, metric. If you want to change it to imperial, it's easy enough to do. You just simply press and hold. It'll start blinking. Press once to change it over to imperial. Press and hold again, and that simply confirms it and locks it in. Very easy to do. It does have a master reset as well. This is kind of like the um, erase code for all the other ones, so you can actually change. Uh, if, if maybe you're going to let somebody else use your computer, you can wipe out all the nitrogen information in it, and that way they're not going to be diving off your dive profile. So it's a neat little feature built in as well. And then, of course, we got the escape screen, which will uh, jump us right back out. Next one, of course, is set alarms. I can press and hold on it, and it's going to uh, go into, this is going to be a high reserve uh, and a low reserve. So if you're diving the rule of thirds, I would set your high reserve um, pretty high, uh, and that way you can go, say, from 3,000 to 2,000. It'll beep to let you know it's time to turn around, and you can set your low reserve, say, the 2,000 to 1,000, or in that, you know, close to that, and that way it'll let you know when you should finish your dive out. But that's the high reserve, the low reserve, and you can actually set it up to whatever you want. You can have your fast ascent alarm turned on as well. That way it's going to beep at you if you come up faster than a foot every two seconds. Um, and then you can, of course, do all beeps. And that, that's also the beep that you're hearing to, as well. You can actually turn that off if you don't want to hear it. And then, of course, you can escape back out. It's very simple to do. Now we can go to the time mode. 
and it's going to simply just show what the time is now i'm going to actually show you how to change that as well um, if we go on through we're going to go to watch set now usually you'll see set time this one actually says watch set so here's where we're actually going to go in and change what time it is you can adjust time so to adjust time, it is currently 9.37 a.m. Now this one is set up in military time, but you can very easily take that out of military time if you want to. So we're gonna go to 37, and then we're going to scroll up until we get to nine. And I'm just simply pressing and releasing to scroll through it now 937 I can click on and then here's where you can change it from 24 hour time to 12 hour time it's however you want to set it. if you do set it up in 12 hour time and you're in the a.m. make sure you set it up for a.m. Uh, not that it really matters but when you download your information it will show that maybe you did a night dive when really you didn't so I like to leave mine in 24 hour time so it's very easy for me to read and then of course we can change the date as well. Now on this, it actually shows the month, which makes it pretty cool. So we're gonna set, um, the first part is going to be um, the day. So we're gonna scroll through it. And I'm sorry, that is actually the year, not the day. So we're gonna set that up for 19. Okay, so, cause it's 2019. And then we're gonna scroll through this one for the month we're going to go over to where it says january easy enough we're going to press and hold to confirm that and then of course this one is the day because i forgot it was in 24 hour time so this one's always going to show day first then month and then it will show your year so we're going to go to two so there it's showing the second day of january 2019 we'll press and hold to confirm that as well and we basically adjusted the time easy enough now we can adjust the contrast of the screen. So if you want it a little bit darker or whatnot, you can actually scroll through and adjust the contrast. You can set beep on. This is where we actually, if you don't want to hear the beep from when you hit the button, you can actually do that. Intro on or off. This is if you want to turn your computer on and it goes straight to the computer screen and you don't see that Mares just add water intro screen. That's where you can actually change that as well. And of course, this is that intro screen that I was talking about. Whenever you hit the button, it'll actually go through the intro, or you can set it up to where it doesn't actually go through that intro. So we'll go back to there. And we can actually turn that intro off if we choose to. So we'll back out of there. And of course we go to PC link. This is what you want to be in anytime that you're going to be downloading information from your computer. Of course we got the logbook feature and to go into it you just simply press and hold and you can scroll through it. The only log that's in this computer is the one from the factory so we're not even going to look at it. We go to plan mode as well. You can just simply click on it and this is where it's going to tell you your depth and how long you can stay and then whether you're in air or nitrox. If you was in nitrox mode it would actually have another feature up here. It says MOD so it'll tell you what your maximum operating depth is based off what uh, nitrox blend you're setting at. But as you can see, we can just simply scroll through the depths and you'll see our bottom time will change per depth. And then of course we can back right back out of that as well. And then we can go into the system check as well. And this is where it's gonna tell you the serial number of your dive computer. So it's really simple. And then of course we can go into the reset feature if we need to. It'll show you battery life, whether your battery's okay. This one's saying that it is. I still would probably change the battery anytime you get a brand new computer just to be on the safe side. And of course we back right back out. So guys, that's the Mares Puck Air with Compass dive computer. It's a very easy model to use. Uh, if you want an air integrated version that is on a um, hose system versus having to wear a wrist style computer, it's a great option because you do get the Compass with it as well. Plenty different attachment points here. It's a great computer, easy to use. It does have a protective shield here so it's gonna protect the screen from getting scratched up. And if the shield gets too scratched where you can't see it, you simply pop it off and put a new one on. So it's a great computer. But guys, if you got any questions on this and how to set it up, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. If you like this video, you want to see more styles like this, simply smash that like button and definitely share it for me. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. 
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.